We're here with Simpson men's basketball coach Charles Sanders after a dramatic 76-73 to win over Buena Vista. Coach, we were just talking. Uh, the play that we drew up at the end wasn't exactly what you wanted, but you got a foul called on Cornelius Mosby with, three, with the second left, got three free throws, made them all to win it. I mean, how, how do you feel after a game like that? I tell you what, it, you, you're absolutely correct. It was not the play that we drew up, but... You know, sometimes it's just as important to be lucky as it is good, and we'll take it. Uh, and Corn had to step up and still knock down the free throws when it was all said and done. Um, I feel fabulous. Uh, you know, anytime you can get a win in the tough Iowa conference, uh, and you definitely want to win at home, um, it's a good feeling. Uh, I, I tell you what, I would feel devastated if we had lost that game. So I'm really appreciative of the opportunity to win it, and uh, we're going to take it. What's going through your mind as your center has the ball? out beyond the three-point line with the clock winding down. He fires up a shot, and then the whistle blows. Yeah, well, Tough, tough call for the official to make. Yeah. He made it. I mean, what's going through your mind at that point? Well, I give that official a lot of, a lot of credit because it, it happened right in front of me. So he did get hit. You know, I've seen a lot of times where officials bury the whistle and they don't call that, but, you know, I was glad that this official did, obviously. Um, when he caught the ball out there and the clock was ticking, I thought, well, let's get ready for overtime. That's what I was thinking. And when I heard the whistle, uh, my next question was, what did he get fouled shooting a three? <laughs> so I was always looking at the next advantage. So uh, he did get fouled shooting a three-point shot, and, and I can tell you it was a legitimate foul, and I'm just happy the referee took it upon himself to blow the whistle. That was kind of a... A different game in the second half. Uh, Buena Vista controlled the game in the first mm -hmm. half in the paint. Mm -hmm. In the second half, it looks like we reestablished our post presence yeah. in Cornelius Mosby. He finished with 22 and 12, including those three, three free throws at the end. Just talk yeah. about his play and the, the post play in the second half. Well, he was really frustrated because he, he was working hard on defense. I and mean, they were hitting shots. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, Norquist and Beeson are two very good basketball players now at conference, and they have been for many years. Um, they know how to play this game, and their offense dictates their, um, their positioning, and, and they're tough to stop. So he was extremely frustrated at halftime. But on our board, we talked about how we had to take away the inside of their game. That was part of our game plan. And at halftime, when we got up, all we said, we're, we're gonna, we just haven't done what we said we were going to do. We haven't done what our game plan was when we prepared for this game. We hadn't done any of that yet. So I said, so let's just make up our mind that we're going to commit to moving our feet, being aggressive, and stopping them in the paint, and uh, we did that, and, and we had great results from it. But, I mean, it was the game plan all along. It just didn't come to fruition until halftime. First half as a team, 3 of 11 from the free throw line. Mm -hmm. What Did you have a talk with the guys at halftime oh, yeah. about the free throw shooting? <laughs> oh, yeah. We have a saying that I say in practice, and we shoot, you know, we shoot tons of free throws. And I have a saying, if you don't make free throws, you don't deserve to win games. I mean, that's the bottom line. That's the truth. And uh, even in our game against Luther on Saturday, we shot horrible from the free throw line, and, and we didn't deserve to win the game, and I told them that. And at halftime, I, I, I went back to what they've been hearing all season. You don't make free throws, you don't deserve to win. Knock down the free throws. We drill them, we practice them, there's no psyche to it, it's just getting it done. Second half, we got, we got it done. In the second half, uh, as a team, improved dramatically, shot 13 of 17. Cornelius Mosby, 10 of 14. That helps. Uh, on his own. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, last question. Uh, this is a Buena Vista team that we've now beaten six games in a row. Uh, what's the secret to success? Uh, what's caused the, the streak against the uh, Beavers? I wish I could tell you because I have a tremendous amount of respect for Coach Van Haften and the, and the BV program. Um, I've been real fortunate. I, I mean, that's all I can say. Um, we've had some great battles. Um, you know, there's a BV has been a, a mainstay in the Iowa Conference for many, many years and winning multiple championships, and, and I'm basically trying to get this program where they are. And, uh, you know, we it's the, the mighty have to fall sometime if we want to get to the top of the mountain, and so hopefully we'll just keep slaying that dragon and uh, keep climbing.